Hello! Today we're reading Australian Nursery Rhymes, written by Colin Teal. Sing a song of bellbirds, a forest full of sound, little notes of silver tinkling to the ground. When the new day opens, the bells begin to ring. Isn't that a lovely way to wake each living thing? Wombat is a pudding, a pudding firm and plump, a snuffling sort of pudding with a rather rounded rump. He rambles and he burrows in the dirt beside the track with his stumpy legs plod plodding and the moonlight on his back. Bowerbird, bowerbird, what have you there? A place for display that is lovely and rare. Bowerbird, bowerbird, of what is it made? Of white bones and seashells and coral and jade. Frill-necked lizard lay on his gizzard, relaxed in the shade of a rock. But he raised up his frill at a tourist from Nil, who promptly collapsed from the shock. In a hidden anthill with his sticky tongue, Echidna picks off termites faster than a gun. But as soon as danger threatens, his spines stand thick and tight. If you sit down on Echidna, you'll get the point all right. When wetlands shine like panes of glass, the magpie geese come teeming past, where lotus blooms and reeds renew, they seek lagoons in Kakadu. Black snake flows by like liquid glass through tussocks, leaves and tufts of grass. His belly red like coals aglow. Stand back, stand back and let him go. What a magic moment, what a marvellous sight from the towering cliffs of the great Australian bite. Whales in the ocean with babies at their side, cavorting where the comas rise and arch and slide. When monsoon storms and flooding rains resound across the tropic north, the armor-plated crocodile stirs himself and lumbers forth. But though he comes with wink and smile, beware. Beware the crocodile. Wallaby, wallaby, tidy and neat, flaunting your tail and fine yellow feet. High in the mountains, your place of renown. You are tougher than whipcord, but as gentle as down. Sea lion and dugong met one day beyond the blue edge of the bay. When shark came cruising idly by, said sea lion looking rather shy, I think my friend that it would pay to turn and swim the other way. There's a rather furry lump in the branches of that tree, a lump that's warm and cuddly as far as I can see and a mouth to nibble leaf tips where the gum tree grows. Some people call him teddy bear, simple and pure, but that's a lot of nonsense. He's a koala for sure. Twinkle, twinkle, southern sky, endless arch of heaven high, filled with shining points precise, winking stars like chips of ice. Twinkle, twinkle, diamond bright, on our far-flung land tonight. Here's some interesting facts about those animals. Bellbirds. The bellbird got its name from its call, which sounds like a tinkling bell. Its nest is shaped like a cup, and the bellbird likes to put caterpillars, often hairy ones, around the top of the nest. Wombats. Wombats live in burrows which have many entrances and below the ground all these burrows divide and connect having many different rooms. Wombats are nocturnal and are herbivores which means they feed only on parts of plants such as leaves and roots and don't eat meat. Satin bowerbirds. In the shadows of the forest the male bird looks black 
but in the sunshine it is deep shiny blue. The male builds the bower out of sticks and decorates it with shells, flowers and any blue objects it can find. Frill neck lizards. These wonderful lizards can grow to 85 centimeters long. The lizard gets its name from the frill of skin around its neck and when it gets upset or angry, it opens its mouth up wide and makes the frills stand up, something like an umbrella. Echidnas. In Australia, echidnas live in all sorts of different places, cold snowy mountains, wet rainforests, and even hot and very dry deserts. The echidna is also called a spiny anteater, and it uses its long sticky tongue to lick out the ants and termites from their nests. If scared, they will curl up into a tight ball of spikes or dig themselves into the ground. Magpie geese. The magpie goose once lived all over Australia, but it is now found only in northern Australian swamps and grasslands where it feeds on water plants. Red-bellied black snakes. This snake is very shy and moves away quickly if it is disturbed, but it is also poisonous and you should stay well away if you see one. Whales. Every time a whale takes a breath, small amounts of water go down its throat. To make sure this whale doesn't go into the whale's lungs, it is trapped in a special chamber. When a whale blows water through its spout, it is getting rid of this water. Crocodiles. There are only two types of crocodile in Australia, the freshwater crocodile and the estuarine crocodile. The estuarine crocodile lives in salt water, especially where the river meets the sea and will attack people careless enough to swim in their waterways. But the freshwater crocodile prefers to stay away from people. However, to be on the safe side, stay well away from all crocodiles. Wallabies. Wallabies and kangaroos belong to the same family, but wallabies are usually much smaller. Among the types of wallabies are brush wallabies, rock wallabies, and scrub wallabies, often called padmelons. Koalas. Koalas are found only in the Australian states of Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland, and now South Australia. They spend their days in the trees, sleeping and eating the leaves of their favorite tree, the eucalypt. Sea lions. The Australian sea lion is the world's rarest sea lion, and it is believed that there are only between 3,000 and 5,000 left. Dugongs. The dugong looks part seal and part whale. It is sometimes called a sea cow because it spends much of its time grazing on seagrass in shallow water. And that's the end of this story. Australian Nursery Rhymes, written by Colin Teal.